Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bastion. How you doing? Uh, I want to continue with the baits that I got while I was on vacation in Florida. And um, for the first time I went down, you guys saw the video I did on um, fine bait and tackle, which was right pretty much across the street from where my mom had rented a place for the winter. And I uh, stopped back in there while I was down there because I wanted to grab a few more of those bitter baits that I found. And uh, I got a few of those and I also got some gambler baits. So I'll show you what I, what I picked up. If you guys saw my short, you saw a little bit of it. But... Um, you know, I'll show you the uh, screen looks a little crooked here. Let me just straighten that up. That looks a little better. A little more centered there. Um, so you guys kind of got a little preview of what I had, but I'll show you cut everything up close. Um, like I said, I wanted to grab some more of these bitters baits, um, which are really nice and they're very inexpensive. Uh, the website is really nice and they've got a ton of colors. I just grabbed a few of these uh, these BFM, you know, beaver style baits. Uh, in the the white here and it's a six count they're like 3.99 and I, I think they have even more you know more of a savings when you buy them online but if you guys like and i like a a white you know creature bait like this especially like if i'm bed fishing or um the water's real murky like around here when i fish like in the river and the water's really dirty this really this really uh looks good so i grabbed the, grabbed the pack of those my screen looks a little off today. I don't know. We'll see how the video comes out. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too not too off as I'm thinking when I'm looking at it. Uh, let's see. I also got this, uh, the BFM uh, bait here in the pumpkin, pumpkin seed shad, they call it. Pumpkin seed shad. I feel like my screen is like, maybe I raised the, uh, raise the thing up here a little, a little higher than usual. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as you guys can see everything. So the pumpkin seed shad, kind of cool looking bait. Cool looking color. Pretty neat, huh? Just a little something different. Some of the lighter colors. When I got these the first time, they were more like natural colors or darker colors. But, you know, your typical looking beaver style bait. So I got those two in the BFM. And then I grabbed this other bait that I hadn't, you know, really noticed last time or was or grabbed any. And they call this the, the Daddy Jitter. And it's like a, you know, crawfish type trailer flipping bait. But uh, this color is Candy Bug Blue Pearl. Which is pretty neat looking. So just looking at this bait. Now this is the first I've got, you know, this style bait from them. You know, you pull those apart. Take those ends off. Now this bait, just looking at it, those are nice claws. I like that. I like that. You know that pearl blue there. This will be a nice. An, uh, it might be a little oversized claws there for a uh, for a trailer, even though you could cut this down a little. But I would probably just flip it. I'd probably just flip this bait. You know, I'll try it as a trailer. But um, I think this will make a good flipping bait. I think that'll handle a four out hook pretty easy. But that's the. The Daddy Jeter, uh, Daddy Jitter, I hope I'm saying that right, and it's the Candy Bug Blue Pearl, or Pearl Blue. You guys can see that. That's what the pack looks like. I assume this is a five pack. It looks like it is. There's five of them in there. And I know on the website it's always like two for seven bucks, so you're paying three fifty a pack, which is pretty reasonable. There you go. Also got the Daddy Jitter in the Green Pumpkin Candy Gold with the Chartreuse Tail. <laughs> That's a lot of colors. That's a lot of colors. I think I must have the, the camera up a little higher. It seems like I seems like I've got more room up here. <laughs> Let's see how it comes out. That's a pretty cool looking, uh, pretty cool looking color right there. That'll definitely show up in the dirty or murky water. Flipping that in the weeds. It's a cool one. I like that one. Green pumpkin. Okay. Some of that candy, you know, that, that candy and like all those different flakes in there with the gold. And chartreuse claws. Chartreuse tail. But chartreuse claws. Nice. Cool looking bait. Also grabbed a color they call Toho. Toho color. 
And like I said, if you look on the website, they have a ton, a ton of co different colors. The Toho is pretty cool. A green pumpkin, that like blue with that gold flake in there. Pretty neat looking. It's like a swirl. Like a blue green, green pumpkin, blue swirl type bait. Pretty neat. If you guys have thrown these let me know how you like them for flipping or or as a trailer probably could even use this i have to see how the how those flappers go this might be a cool chatterbait trailer i haven't tried tried that yet obviously the houdini chartreuse color pretty neat looking in that daddy jitter houdini chartreuse so that houdini color like watermelonish, you know, black, red flake, gold flake, maybe, and that they're just the chartreuse in the claws. I really like it. They're all nice looking baits. All nice looking baits. Pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to trying those out. Oops. And I did grab a few more packs of the Gambler Easy Swimmer. Now I'm a little confused. You guys could, who are more experts with the Gambler Swimmers than I am. This is the Easy Swimmer. Now the Easy Swimmer, I think, is that 4.25 inch size. And this is bruised, bruised copper is this color, bruised copper. So, whew, that garlic, I always talk about that. Garlic scent is great in the Gambler Baits. So it's kind of like a watermelon. So here's the, Here's the top of the bait. So this is how it's going to be swimming. So you got like a watermelon top with some, I guess that's gold flake in there, some black flake. And then I, I guess I guess you can call that a June bug bottom part uh, with some different flake in there. So that's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking. What's that color again? Bruised copper. So if you're wondering what the bruised copper gambler uh, easy swimmer looks like, and that's a that's a 4.25 inch bait, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to, I know they have a bunch of different easy swimmers of different sizes, because I also got the Big Easy, and this is that Florida 5.0 color, which I believe, if I'm correct, is a five inch swim bait. So there's the Florida 5.0 in the Big Easy. It says Gambler right on the, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it says Gambler right on the back there. You guys can see that better. Little eyeballs paint kind of on there. Now, that's the five inch. There's the 4.25 inch. So there's the difference between just the Easy Swimmer and the Big Easy, if you're, you know, want to compare, if you're thinking of using either one. But cool color, that Florida 5 -O. And it's a five pack. You got your, your green, your watermelon, it's pretty dark watermelon, different flake in there. And let's see, Big Easy, I got the black blue, traditional color there. I'm gonna throw a little black blue at them. There you go. I'll definitely be using these on the underspin and the jig heads this year, because it's a cool looking swim bait. And I've kind of not thrown them lately and I wanna get back into them, because it is a great swim bait. It does work, it does work well. Now I got this other pack, and maybe this is just a big easy also, but this says, I can't tell because the pack is kind of rubbed off, and it says something easy 5.25 inch. So I don't know if that's a special run, if that's just another version of the big easy, I don't know. I don't think I have any other ones that say 5.25 on it. And this is, I think, Mill, Millen Magic. I'm not sure, the, it's all kind of rubbed off. You guys that know their colors better than me. I'm sure I could look it up. Um, something Millen Magic. We'll go with Millen Magic. There's probably something else, but we'll go with it. But let's see what Millen Magic looks like. It's definitely cool. Now, here's the 5.25. Let's see. Here's the 5. Now, to me, I think that looks like it's the same thing. So maybe that, maybe they just... Maybe they're all 5.25 and they just say 5-inch or... Or maybe it's just a mismarked pack. I don't know. Whatever reason, they're the same size. So the one says a five inch, and the other one says a five point two five. And <laughs> to me, they 
they look like they're exactly the same. So I think it's probably just a big easy and maybe they just has just marked it as 5.25 when really it's five. Unless they're all 5.25 and I don't know that. I guess I could measure them. Does it really matter? Not really. But there's your, you know, that that gambler big easy body. That purple on there, that black, it's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna, I think I have the gambler website up. I, I'm curious of what that color is. Let's see if I can find it in the big easy here. So I'm just on the, you guys can see I'm on the gambler website. Macmillan Magic, sorry. Big Easy Macmillan Magic. So there you go. It's just all, just all rubbed off on there. But all right, the mystery has been figured out. Macmillan's Magic. Macmillan Magic is a black top with a purple, with that, mm, different flakes in there. With some gold, looks like some black. Uh, can't tell if there's any other, maybe some silver flake. You guys can see that. But it looks great. Can't wait to throw these. Unfortunately, early in the season like this, when I'm sure when I first get out, um, if I do before Easter, we'll see. The weather, I mean, the weather's been so nice, but today it's like cold and windy. It's, it would be brutal to be out there today. It's in the 30s and the wind is howling. When I do get out, these swim baits are a little too big for this time of year. I have to let that water warm up a little bit. So that, everybody, is it. That's what I got at Fine Bait and Tackle, which uh, if you're in that Northport, Florida area, um, saltwater, freshwater, they have a pretty much, to me, it looks like kind of an even split, which is nice. I'm more of the freshwater guy, obviously, so I go in there and, and grab their swim baits. So grab some of the Easy Swimmer from Gambler, that bruised copper, pack of those. Uh, the Big Easy and the Florida 5.0. I'm going to call this the Big Easy 2 in uh, the McMillan Magic, which looks really neat. It's a cool color combo. And the Big Easy in the Black Blue. Very nice. And then uh, just a quick week, uh, recap on the uh, Bitters baits, that uh, Daddy Jitter in the Toho color, that nice crawl off bait there, uh, the Houdini Chartreuse, This is the Green Pumpkin uh, Candy Gold Chartreuse Trailer, one that looks so nice. Great natural color. This one, I really, I mean, I love the uh, that blue pearl that they do on these tails. That Candy Bug Blue Pearl. I really like that. It's really nice. And a couple of the uh, the BFM uh, Beaver Style Bait from uh, Bitters. That Pumpkin Seed Shad. And just the good old white. Good old white. So uh, even though to me my camera looks like it's a little off, I think I just kind of have the, the tripod there a little higher because it just seems like I've got more room up here. I don't think I've shrunk. See my chair. <laughs> chair doesn't go up. Um, but that's it, guys. So that's that's the baits I got while I was in Florida at uh, Fine Bait and Tackle. Nice, nice, nice tackle shop. Nice tackle shop they got. Like I said, salt water and fresh water. Good amount of both. Um, nice little store and. Uh, who knows when I'll be in Northport? I mean, I know I'll be in Northport and next week just to pick my mom up, but I don't think I'm going to have time to get, I think it's just going to be pick her up and get on the road because uh, now I have done the trip, uh, it'll be my fourth time. So at least I'm only going one direction, so it's not so bad. Uh, but I'm doing that next week, so there'll be a couple days next week uh, around Easter where I'll be on the road again. So, uh, so that'll be it. Then when I get back from Easter and all those festivities, hopefully it'll be good weather to start really getting some fishing going. Instead of just talking about baits, I can actually go use some of these things. Um, but that's it. So I'll put a link to these. Um, I don't know a fine bait and tackle. I know they have a website, but I don't know if you can order from it. So I'll just put probably like a Land Big Fish or Tackle Warehouse link to these. Or just right from Bitter Baits and Gambler. And you can get right from the company or whoever you like to order from. Or your local tackle shop. Which I recommend, you know, you know shop at those local tackle shops. Uh, but that's it. Any questions on these baits? Um... I've only thrown the Easy Swimmer. Um, I have not thrown these bitter baits yet. If you guys have thrown the, the Daddy Jitter, let me know how you like it. If you guys have thrown this the Big Easy, let me know. I haven't thrown the Big uh, Easy yet. Uh, let me know how you like it, how you like the rig it, things like that. All right, so I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.